Hello. My name is John Hamm, uh, but you may know me best as the conflicted, womanizing anti-hero Jack Brody from the television series Charmed. <laughs> uh, Tina Fey is known for her intelligence, her sense of humor, and her girl-next-door good looks. Uh, but her unparalleled talents have perhaps overshadowed what a kind, incredibly compassionate person she is. Now, a lot of people think I met Tina when I first hosted Saturday Night Live a few years ago, but the truth is that we go back much further than that. Uh, in fact, she and I met in the Midwest in 1996 in an acting class. She was still a struggling improviser at Chicago's famed Second City, and I was still a woman. I ended up moving out west, uh, but we always stayed in touch. And five years ago, when I was in between pornos, <laughs> she called me and said she was writing a part for me for her pilot, 30 Rock. Now, of course, I was ecstatic. I told her, yes, I was on board. Everything was a go. But then I was cast as Don Draper. And... And I had to make what was the hardest decision of my career, a choice between two great roles, a choice between Los Angeles and New York, a choice between a channel with a lineup of must-see television shows and NBC. <laughs> Obviously, I took the role on Mad Men. And, and a lesser person would have held a grudge for that decision. But Tina was not only incredibly forgiving, she was gracious enough to later give me a recurring role on 30 Rock as her idiot boyfriend who accidentally cuts both of his hands off. <laughs> I'm extremely grateful to have remained in Tina's life, as well as her professional world, and while I sometimes wonder what might have been had I taken that role on 30 Rock, at the end of the day, Tracy Morgan was better for the part. <laughs> Tina, you are the best. Thank you for everything. And I hope you enjoy this 30 Rock montage that I just finished editing.